Hey everybody, it's Manny from Chapel Forge. So I am gonna tell you how to so simply cook sweet potatoes today. Um, you've probably done them in the oven or whatever before, or you dice them up and do them in a pan. And we love all those ways, but the Instant Pot is my go-to for something like this. So I have some wrinkly sweet potatoes. These could be from last year. I'm honestly not super sure. Um, so this one's like a little rough. So we're gonna cut this one and throw it in, but I'm gonna show you how to do them in the Instant Pot. It's so super simple. You can literally just leave it there and when you're ready to eat them, they'll be ready for you. So first thing you're gonna do is pull out your Instant Pot. You wanna put your rack in. Some of them are collapsible. There's ones that are not collapsible like this. If you don't have a rack, um, honestly, you could do like some canning rings in the bottom. The goal is just you don't want the sweet potatoes touching the bottom right on the heating element because they could burn. Honestly, I've done them that way before. They're probably fine. But if you have a so rack, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take a cup of water and put it in the bottom right, of the So I feel like my kitchen is just, it's so overwhelming right now. There's like stuff in every corner and like, obviously we're still trying to unpack, but I'm trying to preserve food. And so mm -hmm. there's like mason jars and pots and it's just, I'm sure that you might be able to relate. Anyway. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take, if there's any bad spots, just cut them out. Um, if you have fresh potatoes, you might not have this problem. Um, you wanna poke some holes. I just did slits, it doesn't really matter. So go through, just kind of scrub them up if you need to, cut out the bad spots and then poke them with holes. So seriously, this is so simple. So you got your pokes or your slits or whatever you're doing, throw them in your instant pot. You got your cup of water on the bottom, you got your rack, they're sitting on the rack. You're just going to lock your lid on um, every Instant Pot is slightly different, so um, this should generally be the way yours works, but it could be slightly different. So you're going to put it on, you're going to make sure that you put it to sealing, okay? And then we are going to do, huh, see, I'm over here like they're different. Okay, so pressure cook. I have two Instant Pots and the buttons are in different spots on the Instant Pot. So we're going to do pressure cook. These are not gigantic. Um, so if you have like really, really big sweet potatoes, or this would work for regular baked potatoes also, um, you'd probably want to do them for like 60 minutes. If they're like medium, maybe like 50, if they're smalls, maybe like 40 or something like that. Um, they'll probably be done. So two things, um, if you don't want to eat them in the skins, like you want to make them into like mashed sweet potatoes, um, you could still do them this way. You could skin them first and put them in, um, now, you may want to like pick them up with a spoon depending on how cooked they get. And when you have sweet potatoes that are different sizes, it just be prepared. It could get a little dicey. You may wind up with some that are like really great for like a baked potato as like a side, but then you might get some that are maybe more of like a mashed, which honestly, I love the gamble of this because I have two toddlers. So if I have two that like fall apart, I just mash them up on their plate, put a little butter, brown sugar, maple syrup, whatever we're doing and they have a side and it works out perfectly. Um, if we're gonna do baked potatoes for us, then when they come out, you know, these are a little butchered because they were older ones, but if you have nice big ones, um, you know, obviously you can just pull them out, cut them and do marshmallows, brown sugar, butter, whatever it is that you enjoy on your sweet potatoes. So I set mine to pressure cook. It's on normal pressure. I did 45 minutes because I feel like mine are kind of in between smalls and mediums. Um, make sure your seal's on. You'll know if your seal's not on. If you hear like whistling or there's like bubbling coming out of it, then you didn't seal it. When I first got my Instant Pot, I did this over and over and over and over and forgot to seal it. So make sure you do that. Um, and it won't like it's kind of fail proof. So, you know, if your lid's not locked or whatever, it's not going to start. You'll know that something's wrong if it's not starting. So, um, again, this part varies. Mine says on, um, yours will probably say on some of them count down. Some of them count up depends on the brand. Um, and honestly, like we have the instant pot brand and I have two different instant pot brands and they still are like, you know, whatever, they're, they're all different. So you may just have to play with that. Don't freak out if it doesn't look exactly like this. So I'm gonna let these go and when they beep, um, we're done. So you can do natural release or you can do a quick release. Quick release means you just hit the thing. Mine, I'm gonna do natural release because I am actually planning ahead for dinner, which is pretty unbelievable. And it's only 2.30. So I'm just gonna let these do natural release. And then when we're ready for dinner, we'll just scoop them out and put them with whatever protein I decide that we're having or Zad decides that we're having and they'll be done. So I'll show you what they look like when they come out. So this is done. It did natural release. It's been running for a little over two hours. 
which is fine. And I'll get my tongs so I can show you what they look like when they come out. So these will probably be perfect for us to kind of just mash up on a plate, which is fine. Um, so they're like perfect. Susie's not happy. They're perfectly soft. They smell amazing. So that's what they look like in there. Um, these will be perfect as a side. So I still haven't figured out what we're doing with it for dinner tonight. We'll figure that out. But if you want to do quick sweet potatoes in the Instant Pot, this is the way to do it. Set it and forget it as they said in like, you know, 1995. Um, or whenever that was, but this is my favorite way to do sweet potatoes or regular potatoes. If you have questions about anything in this process or using your Instant Pot, let me know. We'll see you next time.